This video tutorial will explain how to calculate the percent yield and the difference between a theoretical and actual yield. Now, after you watch the previous video, the theoretical and actual yield, you have to note that always the actual yield is always less than the theoretical yield. Actual yield, I can write it a Y, and theoretical yield, I will refer to it as T Y. Now, and that goes for many reasons. Sometimes uh, we we are using impure starting materials. So when we go to the lab to uh, perform the experiment, let's say we're expecting to obtain um, supposedly uh, two grams of uh, ammonia, but we obtain 1.8 grams due to impurities, or could be loss of loss of products upon purification. Because as you know, most purification processes, they sacrifice some of the desired product as a trade-off for achieving purity, higher purity. Or for example, uh, the actual yield was less than the theoretical yield because probably leaving some sample behind when we transfer from one container to another. Or simply, some of the reactions do not go to completion. No matter how long we wait, there will always be some chemical reactions that cannot completely, 100% finish. So for these reasons, always we know that the actual yield, the amount, the mass that we obtain in the lab experimentally is always less than the theoretical yield. Now, looking at this question, it says that uh, the amount of NH3 uh, obtained was uh, 3 grams. Calculate the percent yield. Now, in order to calculate the percent yield, first we need to find the theoretical yield, and because we don't have it, but we only have the actual yield, which is 3 grams. So, um, um, this question is a continuation from the previous one, so I will remind you that in this reaction we used 2.80 grams of nitrogen and we used the 3 grams of hydrogen. And we calculated, we found that hydrogen is the uh, excess reagent. So if I want to find the theoretical yield and the mass of NH3, I will need to use only the information given with nitrogen. So 3 grams here cannot be used for hydrogen. So therefore, the mass of ammonia that is going to be formed theoretically, first of all, the 2.80 grams must be divided to 28, uh, uh, must be divided by 28, the molar mass of nitrogen, which is 0 0.1 mole. And then 0.1 mole will be multiplied by the mole ratio between nitrogen and ammonia. And here it is 2 over 1. So multiplied by 2 over 1 equals 0.2 mole. And now mass of ammonia formed is 0.2 multiplied by 17, which is 3.4 gram. So this is what we call the theoretical yield. So this is the amount of ammonia that we can obtain if this reaction was successful 100%. But of course, there is no reaction in the world that can be 100% successful. Therefore, now the percent yield is the actual yield divided by the theoretical yield multiplied by 100. So it is 3 divided by 3.4 multiplied by 100. And the answer is 88.23%. So this reaction is successful by 88%.